State lawmakers heard testimony about rampant fraud with temporary license plates. The problem was highlighted last month when Grand Prairie Police Officer Brandon Sy died while pursuing a car with illegal paper tags. His police chief testified today as a new design rolls out to make temporary tags more secure. Fox 4's Alex Boyer has highlights from that hearing. Alex. Hi, Clarice, and you know, law enforcement officers from all across the state testified today about the ongoing problem with those fake paper plates. You know, among them, as you mentioned, was the Grand Prairie police chief. Now, today, uh, one of the things that was discussed was uh, the Texas DMV, as you mentioned, says that they have come up uh, with what they believe is a solution, but the Grand Prairie police chief uh, talked about his reservations. I want to talk to you today about the issue raised concerning the uh, paper tags. Grand Prairie Police Chief Daniel Cessney testified before the Senate Committee on Criminal Justice in Austin Friday. The chief wants lawmakers to do more to combat the problem of fraudulent paper plates. Just on the way down here today, I saw half a dozen tags, paper tags. Last month, Grand Prairie police officer Brandon Sy died while pursuing a silver Chevy Malibu with a fake paper tag. Sy lost control of his squad car and crashed into a utility pole. At the time, Chief Cessney said that same fictitious tag had been swapped to different vehicles at least 200 times. Anybody with a computer and a printer can make a tag. Cessney's testimony comes the same day that state licensed car dealers are required to begin issuing redesigned paper tags from the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles. The agency noted that certain security elements were modified so they cannot be digitally replicated. The head of the Texas DMV testified as well. The department has received understandable criticism in the past for not moving quickly. In 2021, officials estimated that at least 1.8 million fraudulent paper plates were on the roads in Texas. The Texas DMV expects the new and improved design to drastically reduce that number. Chief Cessny acknowledged the improvements, but doesn't believe they go far enough. The issue we see is the cars, they're, they're passing the eyeball test. In other words, it goes by the cop. If it looks pretty good, if, unless they run it, there's not an issue. There's a ton of more investigative value, but for the street cop, this isn't going to fix it. Cessny suggested temporary metal plates as an option. Our agency is very interested in, in anything that we can do to help fix the issue. Okay. Um, we, we've got a cop that lost his life, so it's important to us. And State Senator Whitmire uh, said that the committee will meet again next month ahead of the next legislative session uh, to get an update on the situation from the executive director from the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles. And he has invited the Grand Prairie Police Chief to be part of that discussion.